All right, guys, I think this has been our most requested vehicle to stud the tires and take it on the ice. The Yamaha R6. Usually we run these screws, they're called cold cutters, and we just screw them in from the top. But we figured that this thing has so much power, it would just basically spit those out the tire. So we took concrete screws, screwed them on from the inside, and then basically just jammed a nut on to make sure that screw stays in place. Hopefully this works and gets good enough traction to chew up some ice. We haven't had this thing very long, but man, she has had a rough life. Yeah, I mean, between off-roading it, on trails, in the sand, and on our motocross track, cosmetically, pretty f***ed up. Functionally, amazing. It looks like it's been used, but that's part of its character. Hey, be careful with this seat. It, it comes off, and then the whole bike might end up on top of you. Ev's nodding at us. It looks like it works well. <laughs> He gets too excited. Dude, what did we just create? It's a little faster than you're, the KTM, you're, huh? You're crying, you're drooling right now. You couldn't even try to keep the front end down. It just grips so much traction. It's unbelievable. This is just an R6, but as dirt bike guys that don't ride crotch rockets, this thing is freaking fast. I shouldn't have done that without a helmet on, but I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> I had to twist the throttle. Not wearing any seatbelts and not wearing a helmet. This guy. <laughs> This dude's nuts. This dude is officially nuts. This is amazing. This thing flies really good. You know you can shift, right? <laughs> this is insane. So good. So how do these studs compare to the normal ones? Way more traction. These things bite. Even on the corners? Yeah, I mean, it definitely gets looser on the corner. Like, that's how I'm able to do uh, donuts on it. It's like, in a straight line, it does not want to bust loose. Dude, the donuts are the best, though. <laughs> on the trailer i don't know how evan does that i don't know how he rides this thing this thing's nuts bro it works so well it's wow. weird though because when i rode it you can feel every little nub though it's not as smooth as like the dirt bikes or even the quads yeah, no it's definitely not a proper setup and i don't know how long it's gonna last it's homemade but yeah for 35 bucks not bad so for all of you guys with your r6s at home you thought you had to winterize them for the winter don't worry about it just 35 bucks some screws put them through your tires You'll be able to ride it all winter long. All right guys, quick little break from ripping the R6 to tell you about today's video sponsor, SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events on SeatGeek every single day, including concerts, sports events, festivals, and many more. I was actually just scrolling through on my phone, checking out some of the concerts that they have coming up, and I saw that they have Motley Crue coming in August, so me and the boys are definitely gonna have to go check them out. So the thing with SeatGeek is they always wanna make sure that you're getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, 
you wanna look for the green dots. Green means good, red means bad. Every ticket is backed with their buyer guarantee and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your ticket ahead of the event with swaps. And you know the boys came through for you guys. Use our code CBOYSTV for $20 off your tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your tickets using our code CBOYSTV. Click the link down below in the description and download the app. Now let's get back into ripping the R6. four-wheeler back and we studded the tires on it. <laughs> hey Brad, we just took the liberty to uh, put a bunch of screws in the tires. Hope you don't mind. I think it works better if you go straight. <laughs> All right, so it's the next day. We got some snow last night, which kind of ruined our plans because uh, our buddy Swin Stunts came up to mob on the ice with Evan and the R6. They got their rockets all studded up as well. So that's why we're clearing the ice right now to make like a little stunt pad. And I'm sure it'll just start on this and then it'll end up just mobbing the rest of the lake. Is this guy having fun or is he plowing snow? They said idea would be like a 40 by 40 square. Yeah. Like this is hey, way longer. Look out, look out, look out, look out. Look oh, out. Fuck, he's out of control. Uh, is this guy drunk? You need to put someone on the front of the car to keep it down, get on the rack. Hey! You get into the liquor this morning, Ryan? It's slippery out here. And I mean, yeah, you think I'm a snowplow sober? <laughs> the snow is an issue he's ripping not for him at least that's for sure oh you got the fz's oh yeah brought the cold with us too and you do not like the cold do you i hate it <laughs> yeah i can tell you guys are running a completely different stud setup though these look like professional we're running canadians eh oh this is a canadian setup we got that poor american setup that poor you don't have the sea boys money for the canadians no we got the home depot setup <laughs> fully custom and homemade have you guys rode ice before yeah, like three years ago maybe on little 300s, never on the full size like sport bikes yet. Are you able to do everything, like all the same stunts? I'm thinking so, I hope so. Maybe yeah, Everybody new stuff. says they have the same traction as concrete or more, so in theory we should be able to do everything. Don't That's let this guy on the stock R6 show you up though, that'd be bad. I know. Up. It's not going to look good for us if he does. I'm coming for my <laughs> job. <laughs> we figured it wouldn't be a proper R6 video without getting some guys that actually know how to ride. Not that Evan doesn't know how to ride, he's actually gotten like way better after the three times that he has rode a crotch rocket but these guys I mean they're professionals they're professional stunt riders they do this for a living down <laughs> oh no yeah we're totally professionals we've done this a ton of times as you can see what happened I got no traction out there. Know, it's ice man my, uh, Ryan got a good pad cleared off good job Ryan I knew you could do it I just love plowing you know down to the real test. Evan, a non-professional, not a stunt rider on a Yamaha R6 with homemade studs <laughs> versus these professionals with their professional tires. <laughs> sketchy dude, just all power really. <laughs> Figuring it out. I got a long ways to go until I can do what these guys do, but. <laughs> the studs just flew through the forks. The stuff went through the forks? How? This is all the shock. Or the. <laughs> Probably a one by four inch hole on the uh, fork tube. So I don't think it's gonna be holding any fluid, but luckily you got two tubes, so you should be good. Yeah, that's why they gave you two. Right, exactly. Sure. <laughs> 
I understand exactly what you're saying. Just rev it up and just drop it. <laughs> it might. I feel like we should. Dude, I love that bike. I don't want to. I don't want to do nothing to it. Bro, it's getting turned into a four wheeler in three days. Well, I'm gonna steal it and hide it. Not let I you guys know. Paint one for you at the shop. Yeah, yeah, but haven't you ever had a personal attachment to something? Like, think of all we've been no, through. No, you can't let him take it away. I'm gonna be honest. No. I feel like we should just ghost ride this thing off a jump. So. It hurts my heart. Oh! Oh! oh my god. <laughs> Holy sh Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Is the motor okay? I don't know, it ripped the exhaust off. Honestly, it ripped the entire back end out of it. Look at this. Where the fuck's the rest of the bike? I don't know, actually. Holy crap. I'm sorry. Man, I didn't deserve that. Hopefully the motor's not screwed up on this because we were planning on doing a R6 quad swap with the motor, hence why we actually wrecked the bike. We were trying to get every last bit of yeah. enjoyment out of this yeah, thing. exactly. <laughs> Forks are a little tweaked, but. Oh my gosh. This <laughs> Wait, it probably won't start wide open. The guy that's going to show room. up to build this thing is going to be like, what the hell, man? <laughs> yeah, I'll just take it out of that one. This is unbelievable. She'll be running soon again with four wheels. What a disgrace. 